Greetings, I proud adventurers! We're going to dive back into the dungeons of Dreadmoor. Conquest of the Wizardlands slash Realm of the Diggle Gods slash you have to name the expansion pack. Let's load Skankias, the adventure uh, playthrough. We had just completed the first level of this Dreadmoor dungeon and carrying on towards the second one. Uh, it's gone pretty well so far, I have not been hurt uh, grievously at any point. We have a nice collection of craftables that I probably will never get to use because I really don't even understand them. The <laughs> I do understand how the crafting works, but it's uh, kind of a pain in the ass to look for recipes, I'll be honest with you. I might try to just do the ones that I find, or try to do the ones that I find in the bookcases. And I've been... <coughs> oh wow, sorry about that, that came out of nowhere. I've been wondering whether I should be... Uh, let me work. The paper. There is the paper that I I noted down a few of those weird realms. I'm going to use one because I am very much curious, and you know, since it's it's pretty early in the run, so I can do it. And if it destroys me, uh, well, I'm only losing the progress of one level. Engage. What might happen? I have no idea. Okay, I can deal with this. This is okay to deal with. Die! Die in a fire, you disgusting bat! Kapow! Oh yeah, this is super slow. Let me speed it up a little bit. Uh, something that I very much enjoy. Uh, the ability to speed up the game. If you don't know, you hit the equals key on your on your keyboard. You can rebind it in the options. In fact, let me show you. Uh, key bindings is way down here. Double animation speed, there it is. Something that is extremely useful because I do not uh, find the regular speed as fast as it sh should be. So it looks like if you find an alternate dimension, at least I can draw this conclusion from just one. That uh, if you find an alternate dimension, you pr uh, probably will be facing enemies that... Oh, cool. Uh, that are appropriate for the level that you found it on. I'm going to uh, assume that is the case. I would like to get this obvious fireball because I like leveling up the fire tree, but maybe I should pick something else. I am curious about the other things I can grab, especially I would like to get the nightly, le nightly leap, which is a nice teleporting. I think le li Ley Lines also has a teleportation. Uh, Mr. Layla can use invisible heat geometries to move without moving, with, but only in cardinal directions. There's another teleportation device, because uh, getting out of danger is extremely important in Dungeons of the Dreadmoor. It is incredibly important, because sometimes you'll get into a situation that there's no way you're going to fight everything. You gotta escape, and getting a teleporting ability is extremely useful. I'm, I'm reading this, these things as I... As I speak, send an artifact to the giant secret scary government room full of boxes and gain experience equal to its value. That's pretty neat. Instead of selling them for money, you sell them for experience, pretty much. That could be quite useful and level up uh, faster. Let's get that. I think that's a great thing to get to, to begin with. And I am okay with firepower so far. Uh, with, between the rune and the, and the dragon's breath and my smacks of my weapon. I can deal with all the threads, I think, so far. These are really easy enemies to deal with. I just keep uh, walking into fire. I really need to stop doing that. Because uh, it is it does add up for uh, after a while. Lutefix, we're not going to spend that because we're going to tithe it to the Lutefix god. Uh, let's see some of this stupid grated cheese. It's really worthless. So might as well get it out of my inventory. Uh, we got a blobby here that is going to explode momentarily. Kapow! Our weapon is doing quite a lot of damage. What do I, what did we, did we equip? Oh, it's a uh, refurbished staff. It looks like it's a shitty, but with all the bonuses that we have gathered, uh, that ring and all that, it, it's doing quite well for our level. Oh, that got triggered. And now I have to wait. It space a bunch of times and turns just fly by. Let's use the teleportation. I mean, no, the the the. Uh, regeneration, I forgot that I have. I don't have my fire spirit around. Go ahead and go nuts, uh, fire spirit. Destroy all of them. Yes! <laughs> I'll die my fiery might! 
gonna face me. Yeah, I'll pull this lever. Alrighty. So it looks like this is pretty much just an extra level going into this extra dimension here. Uh, kind of defeats the purpose of uh, saying that I have no time to grind if I increase the size of level 1 by yet another level. Pretty silly. Uh, let's get some more regeneration. Oh yeah, I just got this, uh, but I have not used it. Wonder if it's uh, with any kind of object. Is that an artifact of the giant blah, blah blah? Let's use it with cheese and see what happens. Let's use it with this diggle nog. Okay, what just happened? I just drank that. I did not use my ability, I just drank it, and, and now I'm a diggle. Okay. I can I can I can work with this. <laughs> diggle nog form. It looks like you drank a little too much diggle nog. I only drank drunk one. It's weird because I had drunk that before. It wasn't with magic, okay. Uh, I've drunk that before. All the drop plates. Oh, is there traps? Okay. Since I'm a diggle, I can withstand amazing damage. Okay, I'm kind of weird about this. Yes, I'm going to disarm that. Ouch. So what happens when I attack this? I destroy him with my diggle might. What is this? Just flavor type of deal. Okay. Well, at least I have my worm. Okay, I, I have returned to normal. Uh, so, yeah, I did not send that to the museum. I just drunk it. So, I'm going to assume that I can only use that with actual items that I can equip on my character. What's this? Boulder drop plate. Yeah, but they're under these things. Wizardly empties. Ah, I see. They're empty bottles from other wizards. Well, I am disarming all these traps, getting a whole bunch of experience for it. I am uh, very fond of that. Mummy. Burn. Burn, mummy. Oh, I mis-aimed that. I put it in the word. It did not belong. What's that? I gonna break it. Another deal that's just going to get smacked. I can't... I'm not going to even waste my magic with you, man. Just smack you in the head. A chest with... Plumber's Agaric. This is one of those herbal remedies that people take to try to make themselves bigger. You know, I really don't know what all the mushrooms do, so let's consume them as we find them, and then forget about what they do, okay? What does this do? Plumber's Strength! Uh, three to Strength! Okay, I'm okay with that. It's a nice buff. Nothing down here. I would like to use this Plumber's Strength to destroy my enemies. That's a terrible aim. Terribly aimed shot, so I'm just going to smack them all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fear of my smacking might. Might this be the exit? Foppish tunic. Uh, am I wearing that disgusting robe still? Yeah, so let's wear this foppish tunic. It's a f grand old improvement. And we can send this to a museum. The value of it is uh, really pathetic. So, we're, let's... Move, uh, I mean, send this, send Bangiz the Crepuscular Turnip to the museum. Okay, select that and right click it. Ah, oh, yes. Well, that's a nice chunk of experience for our nearly worthless item, so this is going to boost my experience gains by quite a bit. I'm quite glad that I got that item. I got that uh, ability. I mean, I won't be getting as much money. Why do enemies drop fresh stakes? Do I have an ability that does that? I have no idea. Do, 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 do. I must have... The level up must have given me a few more stats because these were percentage based uh, traps. Oh, well, we have explored the whole thing. Okay. Uh, but then they suddenly became traps that I can simply pick up or disarm immediately. So that's good. Okay, we have explored this entire thing. We didn't really get much in return. That was kind of retarded. <laughs> I really did not think that was worth doing, honestly. So I don't think we're going to do that again. Uh, it's pretty silly to be going through these levels. I guess if you need extra experience, you're finding the game a little too hard. Uh, oh man, they, those assholes just dodged me. I'm going to summon my beautiful... Oh, yikes, what just happened? 
I got pulled out of the game for some reason. I don't think the... Uh, I'm pretty sure the record is still going. My deepest apologies for this interruption, but suddenly the... Uh, the game tapped that on me. Luckily OBS, as opposed to DX Story, it does not stop the recording, so... Uh, you might, you probably did not notice any kind of interruption to the footage, which is nice. I, I like OBS quite a bit. I might work at... Uh, oh, Fari 1. I might work at uh, getting, uh, making it my default recording device or, or program or whatever. Let's send this road to the museum. That might not work. Maybe I can only do it with things that are valuable to a threshold. I really don't know how that works. I guess I'll try it with a whole bunch of things and find out. Bunch of cheese. Always good to have a bunch of food in your inventory. There's another graffiti. I'm not going to give a crap about it. Mm -hmm. Let's make a, ooh, a crunk. A crunk altar where you put one of your items. I'm going to put my feather in there. He is pleased with me and I get an extra point of life. Well, that's okay, I suppose. It's not bad. It's not great, but at least it was not a... You get the chance to have it be bad. He'll be displeased with you and uh, debuff your item. Yeah, I'll try to. Ouch. It was a bad decision. My life is full of them, so I don't care. A giant mushroom that wants to destroy me. Burn, please. Man, I keep mis-aiming those runes. Here, have another one. Uh, that was not necessary, I guess. He was almost dead already. Uh, where's my worm? The thing about the worm, it falls behind you quite a lot. Let's see if we can get this dumbass to... ...to step on that room. There we go. Well done, fool. The tinker Sparts. Wonder if I can send the Tinker Sparts. I'm going to try it with all sorts of different... Nope, I cannot. Pretty sure it's only with items that I can equip. And only certain items that I can equip, apparently because I could not do it with the robes. There's a blobby down there that needs to die. All wildlife need to die. Now that was making, doing quite a lot of damage there. I mean, more than I was used to in floor one. Loculus. I don't know what that means. Uh, yet another way down. I'm not going to go down until we explore the entirety of this level. Of course. I'll murder this diggle. Holy shit, he's uh, hitting me pretty damn hard. Uh... Wish I had that teleporter. I'm going to try and... Yeah. I have diverted the Diggle's attention. Uh, you gotta start being a lot more careful because this these guys are starting to be much more difficult to kill. I mean, it's definitely not hard yet. It just caught me off guard. I just need to be more careful about it. I'm going to wait for some regeneration there. And my beautiful Fire Worm is doing short work of all my enemies, so... It's alright. Get some extra food here. Sorry about that. I needed to scratch my nose. Damn it! I mean, not mean to step on that. You fool! Stop! <sighs> That's the one part I don't enjoy about the worm. It will stand on the stupidest things, and then you go and smack him. It does, the game does not make a difference. Oh, this is friend or foe? No, I'm just going to smack everything in the head. I don't give a crap what it is. Uh, remember your Charlemagne. Let, let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds in the sky. Okay. Looks like maybe a boulder falls on my enemies. These are all abilities, aren't they? Wow. No, I didn't mean to click there. Oh, I clicked by mistake. I uh, the, My mouse uh, button is a little sensitive. I did not mean to do that. Let's see what it does. Yeah, it just froze a bunch of papers, it looked like. Alrighty. This uh, literary reference that I'm not equipped to... ...to get. That's why I am uh, baffled by the, that... Uh, remember your Charlemagne type of deal. Anyway. We're going to continue exploring this level. Getting all sorts of treasures for it. There's a monster suit, isn't it? Yup! <laughs> when it takes a little while to load, you're going to find a freaking monster zoo. 
Activate the ley lines and start killing people. Oh man, this is going to do damage here. Um, put a bunch of runes on the floor. I have a deal in front of me that wants to kill me. And I'm going to take this dire sandwich so I get a bunch of regeneration throughout. Put more runes down because this is what will kill everybody. And uh, do I have... Oh yeah, I have a fiery wand. This is excellent. Because it throws fireballs. This is going to be fantastic. I'm pretty well equipped to deal with a, with a monster zoo. I'm going to let things stew in the fire for a little while. Put a few more runes, or at least one more rune. Oh, I don't have the, the mana for it. So let's drink... Let's see... Ooh. Yeah, well, we're going to drink some Slivorvitz. Oh, I uh, gave me a weird magically liquored. Oops. <laughs> I guess that liquor was a little too strong. And now I am drunk off my ass. The worm's still alive, but only barely. So we're going to just keep throwing those fireballs in there. I'm perfectly okay with that. Some uh, damage over time take effect. That fireworm still doing my work for me. Kaboom! Still good. I'm not going to. I'm not going to resummon that that worm. Some more regeneration. More runes for my troubles. Oh. Damn, this guy is pretty damn powerful because he's uh, some sort of champion. Oh man, I did not expect to find a monster zoo so damn early. Hmm, what to do about this guy? He's after me, man. He's after me. I really don't want to be murdered by this guy. Let's see how much damage. Holy shit, I am leaving. See ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let all those things happen and I'm going to just stand here. Luckily that teleporter was in the right place to get me out of trouble immediately. So you can see uh, Dungeons & Dreadmore run can turn for the worse quite quickly because you stumbled upon a threat that you could not handle. <coughs> oh wow. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm not even sick or anything, I, I just got... Some bad stuff in the back of my throat, all that jizz that I drank yesterday. I just need some regeneration. Gotta get another worm going. I'm going to just wait here for all the good stuff to happen. Uh, I'm going to pass a whole bunch of turns. Cool. I leveled up. <laughs> Out of doing all that good stuff. I probably should get, grab the ob obvious fireball, although my mana is not what it should be. Or I, maybe I could continue. So in fact, what everyone thought it was all along. This looks like I can re-roll the stats on an item. <coughs> Damn, hopefully that will be the last time that I have to cuff like that. Mm, no, I'm not going to do that. I want something more useful than that, please. Highly aware. Trap sense. Second sight, third sight. Eye lasers. I think I'm just going to max out fire. Or maybe I should do the ley lines for the teleporting ability, which, as you, we have just seen, could save my ass in quite a few ways. Yeah, we're going to continue the ley lines. Magic flows effort effortlessly through your grants, even more mana re regeneration, which is actually quite damn useful for my current situation of not being able to kill a damn thing. Oh, this guy is still chasing me, but he doesn't know that I have teleporting abilities. Going to keep throwing... Keep throwing uh, uh, knives at him, and then we're going to leave immediately. And then we can cycle through this, and from here, I can keep throwing shit at him. <laughs> oh, you fool! You're such a dumbass. You fell in my trap. Mm. Nah, I don't have a line of sight there. Let's get some more regeneration going. And now, this guy should burn no problem. Kapow! 
Okay, did he drop anything? I don't think so, but we're going to grab uh, whatever knives I find. Cue flesh. We're going to spawn a new worm. There we go. Uh, it's kind of overpowered for the for the first levels because it really does a lot of damage. Save saves my ass from a lot of pain. Let's see if we can get a good Charlemagne. There we go. And, uh, let me plant. Oops, I didn't mean to hit Shift Two when I ate whatever it was there. What I think it was some steak or something. I'm going to plant a few more runes. There's one there and there's one there. Um, I'm just going to wait. Watch them all burn in a pyre of fiery doom. I'm going to stand here. This wand is about to be depleted. Maybe I can walk a little closer. More mana, please. Another rune. I don't know if that placement was very good, though. Kaboom! Yeah, the wand has been depleted. I just need them to land on my runes, please. I'm just going to wait here. Do, 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 do. The worm is going to do all sorts of things. Drink some more. That's a pretty damn good rune. There we go. Alright, we get another cooldown. There you go. Everybody explode! <laughs> oh, excellent. Bam! Haywire! When it says haywire, it's pretty much a uh, spellcasting critical. Uh, yeah, this monster zoo is almost taken care of. Uh, let's put it on. A couple more runes right there for my enemies to explode in fiery flames. Excellent! My bloody reward. Yeah, that looks very much like me. I'm glad that they got my portrait. Uh, well, wow, this is a really, really, really shitty <laughs> ring. Uh, it's it's a it's a ring, right? Yeah, I'm not interested in this ring. We're going to send it up to the museum. Hopefully, we'll get a nice chunk. Let's see. It's right there. Wow, that's a pretty damn good chunk of experience for that really shitty, shitty ring that just gave me one point of resistance, yay! Uh, absolutely nothing else to gather. I guess we'll keep going, see what that monster madness was protecting. Probably nothing of worth as the random nature of Dungeons & Dreadmore. There could be a huge monster uh, uh, horde protecting nothing at all. As is the usual thing with roguelikes, you see. Make this big old burn. That's another thing I enjoy about the whole uh, fire tree. We're going to cast another worm. This poor girl is a little too beat up. Some soft balls. We're going to eat some more meat. Huh, maybe I can craft some something. Uh, R. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> with the eggs. Sorry about that, I, I, I cut a little too close to the microphone, I hope that wasn't too terrible. If it is, I probably will go back and, and edit it out. Uh, have ingredients, I have a whole bunch of... Yes, of drinks, I'm going to craft as many drinks as I can. Craft that, and craft some deal crap. There we go. I don't know why I want that. The diggle nog. I guess it's pretty good uh, mana regeneration. Holy shit! I did not realize I'll be walking to 20,000 traps. Go. Yeah, 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 give me all that experience, please. Your sparts. See what's uh, behind there before I carry on through that path. Let's put a fire room right there and have everybody explode. Uh, do I have anything to send to the museum? I value experience a lot more than money. Eh, it's nothing. Toxic Blobby destroyed. I'm concerned about my health situation. I really get hit a lot. Uh, it goes down way too quickly for comfort. Put a room 
there, even though it's just a bat. Oh, yikes, I did not realize that. Diggle was right there. He got distracted by the fire worm as I was hoping he would. And I can just wait for all the fire to die out. Oh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Tinker's parts, I'm not interested. Particularly because, you know, you really don't get the chance to craft it. You need points in the crafting, in that crafting area. Oh, yeah, that's right, my worm. Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. Uh, I am tempted to just click on the potion of healing. I'm going to. Because I got surrounded by awful monsters. I mean, they were really low-level monsters, but I really don't. did not want to get screwed by a freaking bat and a diggle. That would have been really a pathetic way to end this run. So I am okay to have done that. Chuck, uh, some extra drinks. I'm exploring this area. I don't want to explore this area. I want to go back to this spot. I'll make sure that this whole corner is cleared. Oh, uh, which left my freaking worm behind. I keep doing that. Smack! So let's wait a little bit for that mana to regenerate and cast another one of these lovely, lovely creatures. Yes, and destroy my, the mummy for me, please. I wonder what happens. I pull this lever. Uh, little, this little cranny has opened with absolutely nothing of interest. Here, another teleporter. I just keep going through these. I really shouldn't. I've gotten myself killed way too many times running into a teleporter. Should be a pretty dang good rune once I alert them to my presence. Oh, look at all that stuff. Rough iron sword, rusty sword. Okay. My little anvil smithing kit. Uh, do, the, do these swords upgrade my weapon in any way? Not really. So we're going to send it to the museum. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. No? Must I? What just happened? What did I just do? I have no idea. I just used a lot of uh, mana for something. Okay. Oh, I'm just right clicking. But nothing happens because I don't have any. I'm not right clicking on anything. That. I huh. wonder how I can do it so that I use it. Maybe just click 5? No? Maybe I'm just really, really stupid. I think I'm pretty damn dumb. I don't know how to do it. Maybe you can't do it with swords. That makes no sense, though. What did I do earlier? Ah, whatever, man. Let's just keep going. It's not worth resolving this, this problem, really. Yeah, I'll take my chances. Ouch. Probably should not have taken my chances. <clears throat> Let's eat a bunch of cheese. A bunch of meat. And uh, get some more regenerating. Ah! I'm exploring this area, you stupid teleporters. Yes, yes. Die in a fiery blaze. Let's continue going on. <coughs> going on with this path. Channeler, I'd want to... At one of, yeah, uh, at one with the ley lines, you are a font of magical energy. Guess what? More mana. I really do need it. I want to have pretty much unlimited mana resources. Ah, oh, you dumbass worm! Get out of my way. Critical hit. Eggs for me. Nah, screw it. Screw it. I need better stats. I don't want to be uh, uh, taking chances with the traps because I am pretty damn squishy. We explore that corner over there. We're going to just uh, walk to places instead of taking teleporters. I am not comfortable taking teleporters. So we're going to just... Okay, that guy got murdered immediately by my wor my bloodthirsty worm. It's really out for blood. Uh, we're going to put a few rooms behind uh, around these idiots. And then we're going to throw this crap. It's a bit of an overkill, I think. <laughs> Get these drinks. Disarm that trap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's another room there, maybe I can use it for these idiots. 
come on. I guess he died. Whatever. Ooh, a statue to destroy. Mm -mm -mm. Down there. Kabloom! Yes, excellent. What's in the shelf? Ooh, an alchemy potion. I mean, uh, an alchemy recipe. Potion of mana, ruby, and aqua vitae. Iron ingot. Infernal potion. That sounds quite tasty. So we're going to try and craft that, although, you know, I don't have the materials for it. I will try to get some. Ooh, what, what just happened? Thaumaturgic conflux. Power overwhelming. Burns like a chili cook off. Okay. What is the purple icon? Let's find out. This one, magic resistance. It lowers my magic resistance. I think this is just uh, from the ley lines thing. It gives me a chance to get that type of deal, which makes my spells that much more powerful. Just burnt to a die to a Chris, please. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Little black book. It's not better than the book that I have. Little red cookbook. That gives me resistances. The little black book actually gives me damage. So I'm going to switch it in. I can't right click it, okay. Some things I can right click and equip right away. Some others I have to actually drag over there. Let's see if this works with the book. Yes. Hey, gave me a little bit, not a whole lot for that one. I'm not terribly surprised because it was pretty damn shitty. Let's pull this lever, nothing will happen. A horde of monsters falling to the pit. Okay, I'm assuming the pit is above me. Freaking Diggles, man. I hate you all. I hate you all so freaking dearly. Ugh! You're beating the ass! Just die! There we go. I think this was the pit, maybe? I, I don't know, man. Let's just burn them. Who cares? That's right, if you put a rune on an enemy, it would spawn it at a random place. So you don't want to do that. It makes the rune almost worthless unless you lure them to the rune yourself. Well done, well done. Friendly Wormling, you are a good champion of light and murder. This, all these guys are gonna just burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good stuff. Well done. Oh, come on. Stop breaking lockpicks and be a freaking thief worth your salt. We're going to put more feather eye in there. Alright, we're going to turn this feather eye into the mightiest feather eye of all time. Uh, we got some more nimbleness, some more resistance to lightning, I guess, and one more point of health. Cool. Oh no, the point of health is the cumulative one from the previous, the previous upgrade. A gin. There you go. There's my combo right there to make people burn. A sandwich. I love these sandwiches. They are really, really tasty. They have all sorts of cheese, lettuce, tomato. Also, I have a bunch of ham in there. I am so fond of these sandwiches. Uh, rune and more burning. Oh yeah, watch them burn. Oh, they dropped something. What is that? Crude stone axe. Yeah, not something I'm very much interested in. Let's see if we can send that to the museum. I very much doubt it. No, he just equips it. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah, only certain items you can do that. Looks like no weapons. But shields, I think, are, are fair, a fair thing to send. So let's do that. Yeah, that I will wear. But the shield? No, only certain things. I wonder what. I wonder they have to be magical type. These are, yeah, these are all regular things without magical abilities. I think it needs to be a magical item. I think that might be with a magical modifier. You see. I think that might be the case. I have finally cracked this riddle. Okay, these two teleporters, they simply go to one another. And I'm in front of a million monsters. 
Let's burn them. I'm okay with burning people. We can get this thingy to do something. This guy burns. Death also gets smacked. It hurts quite a lot though. I need to leave. <laughs> I need to escape. Uh, there's a lot of monsters. I'm going to eat this sandwich and then just flee into the teleporter. And these are much easier to deal with, I think. Oh, pow! I don't think this guy gets uh, hurt by fire a whole lot. I saw, I saw a lot of zeros there. Um, yeah, I don't want to go back through there. Where did I show up? Right here. I had explored... I have no idea where I, I ended up with, on earlier. So we're just going to follow this path now. I need to re-summon my beautiful wormling. Open! A crude knife. Uh, here, I have a wormling for you. Ah, yes! A loyal servant that I smack in the head a few times just to discipline it. It's very important to keep them in line. Everybody burns. There's nothing here. Pointless rooms, man. What a waste of my time! Kill that disgusting blobby. Uh, that's not worth grabbing, so I'm not going to open that. No, don't smack the worm, you fool! Burn that guy. Open this. More diggles! Well done, worm. You're good. I think I will be have died by now without the freaking worm. Just keep burning these idiots. We hate them. We hate them greatly. Well, that Charlemagne thing. Oh, what does that do? Easy target curse. Oh. What's happening? These diggles are way too powerful, man. I'm very upset with that. Alrighty, another graffiti that I'm not interested in, I'm sorry, that was extremely pointless. Okay, we're going to give it another try, alright? I'm going to completely ignore the others that I gathered. In fact, I am now, I don't know if you can hear it, I'm going to scribble them out. I'm going to click here and I'm going to note down this one and if it's a completely useless rump, I'm going to never do it ever again. Pull cool roll mug lick. Yes. Got it. Alrighty. Let's keep on going. Uh, we're almost done with this level, really. As we progress, the harder it becomes to clear levels, so at some point we probably will start clearing half a level instead of... Oh man, that, was, that fell short. We'll start clearing half a level instead of just uh, a whole level. I want these sessions to be an hour and a half long. Uh, both because, you know, it will into my other recording time. Uh, it's it's silly to be putting out hour and a half long videos when I have to to make a video a day. Uh, it makes a huge difference compared to a, a 40 minute, 30 minute video. Uh, these are the, you know, the logistics and the strategy of creating content every day I cannot afford. I hope that you can forgive me for that. I cannot afford Poncho with no name. This is actually pretty damn good. Yeah. Great upgrade. I can't afford to spend an hour and a half for each video or I will not be able to put out as much content as I would like to. Uh, but of course I don't want to, you to be cheated. Only get like a 10 minute video of, of gameplay. That would be really, really shitty of me to do. So I like to strike a nice balance of maybe 40, 50 minutes, uh, 50 minutes is a little too long already. Only reserve that for the successful spel Spelunky runs that you, you know, go for as long as you need to go. Uh, there's one more branch over here. But for the most part, I try to keep them in the 30 to 40 minute mark. It's okay to go over uh, or under that about 10 minutes, but I don't like going over an hour, let's say. Of course, many times you don't get that choice with roguelikes, particularly. You son of a bitch. 
With Rogue Less Particular, you don't get the choice of telling of uh of saying just how long your video will be. Your video will be as long as the run goes, because you have no way to save. I, I got a lot of damage there. Oh, there's some weird electricity on the floor, that's why. Let's uh, eat the steak. I like to keep myself at full health at all times. What is that? Darkened vision. Oops. Uh, let's go into the uh, pocket dimension here because I have a lot of junk that I want to offload. Uh, the black powder. Really, I'm keeping all these regions. I'm pretty sure I will never get to use them. I like to keep all this junk. I'm sorry. I am a bit of a hoarder. I'm not terribly bad with it. I mean, I am okay leaving things behind. I'm, I really don't have that much trouble uh, managing my hoarding tendencies. But I do like to, to keep as much stuff as I can because maybe it will become useful in the future. I'm sure that this is a problem that a ton of uh, people fond of role-playing games have. Uh, it is hard to let go. It is so hard to let go. We have yet to find a Horadric uh, or Loot Fisk cube. Converts all my worthless things to Loot Fisk. Uh, all this stuff is food that I want to eat. Although it's pretty silly to be ca carrying all that. And then we're going to make another pile for gems. Emerald. Because they're really useful in crafting. Certain crafting, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, which recipes will use what. Uh, let's... No, that's not what I want to do. Uh, I'm going... I want to split. Is it control? Is it out? Ah, uh, out will split the stack. There we go. Uh, we're keeping that. All the tinkers parts, actually, we're going to toss... The lathe is for once, I want to say. Why do I even have this? I have no idea why I have a lathe. I have no ability to create wands, so we're going to just drop it there. I'm make, This is a pile to sell. Burnout wand, too. Sort. It's pretty okay. I also should uh, leave all the buffs here. Because you can use the, the pocket dimension to come in here anytime you want, even if uh, you are in the middle of... No, I do not want to eat that. I mean, if you're in the middle of combat, you can come in here and grab the buffs that you want. So I'm going to make a nice buff pile. A mud one. Not sure what this does. Strange resistance to transmutative energy. So if you either need resistance to that, which I have no idea how to possibly anticipate that. I don't know what damage does what monster does what. So, I wouldn't have a way to know that, oh, hey, I better get my transmutative resistance on. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. But I guess the longer I play, what's, what's with the lightning stuff? I think it's the Toxic Blobby that I left behind that junk. Uh, let's make some more fire. We can use this thing to destroy that guy. You stupid worm, you stupid... Put yourself in harm's way. Ooh, nice. A potion of healing is extremely useful. In, in fact, that is the one potion that we're very much interested in crafting. So let's go in the into the crafting dialogue. This is the distillery. That's not going to do anything for me. Is it? I think what I'm looking for is that. Alchemy. Yes. I need rust. For which I need the freaking... Grinder, which I did keep, so okay, we might just grind everything that I can into rust just to make a shitload of healing potions. In fact, that is a really, really good idea to do right now. Oh, that sucks. I need to go through all this pile to grab the rust making uh, craftables. Okay, let's make some rust. Yes. I don't have anything else, but there is a few ingots here. Uh, the plastic will not do that. But uh, these ingots will. There. Pretty sure it will. Well, I guess uh, I guess I only only iron can make rust or something like that. Yeah, copper will not make rust and electrum will not make rust. 
Okay, whatever, man. It was a good attempt. At least now we have a bunch of rust. Let's drop all my... S sorry for wasting all this time. Not... Oh, yeah, okay. In sh if you shit click it, you drop it. What a dumbass I am. I could have done this earlier. Tinker parts and one alchemy box. Why? Why am I even dropping one? It makes no sense. I'll just sell one when I get to the freaking place. Oh, what a dumbass I am. I'm such a silly, silly person. Uh, I should have now craftables to at least make another healing potion, so let's do that. Oh yeah, this is a recipe I'm going to abuse the crap out of. Because healing potions probably will be my lifeline. As they usually are in role-playing games, but I can craft them. Great! Alright, a new level up. Uh, yes, invisible geometries. This is a teleporting spell. Let's see what it does. Alright, sweet! Why, wow, it does use a shitload of mana. Or was I low? I'm not certain. I might have been low. Drink some more booze. And eat some food. I don't need to eat food. What am I talking about? Kablooey! Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it uses... Not, not that much. Use a bit, but not so much. Definitely want to keep myself at enough. Let's open this up. There you go. Burn! Uh, keep myself at enough mana to be able to use my teleporting ability when I really, really need it. A bone club, I will grab that. Vending machines I'm not interested in. Open, 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 open! Oh man, I run out of lockpicks, that sucks. I'm going to stand here because I can. Okay. That got me something. And that something is great, I suppose. Burn all my enemies. Pow! It seems to also knock them back and stun them. That is good to know. Yeah, I'll do it. Ow. No, don't hit it. You fool. Okay. Yes. Alright, some more Ludafisk. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, another room explored. Let's keep on going to this area over here. Might as well just jump through the teleporter. Not really. It's hard to keep track. Where the hell did I jump to? I am right here. And this is the last path that I need to explore. The room plus fire combo. Kind of overkill there to kill a freaking toxic blobby. Pretty damn worthless. Ah. Uh, I need another worm. I will summon it when I find a suitable target. Oh, there he is. Never mind. Okay, it looks like we are pretty much done. The room there. The enemies burn. Hi. Boom! Only if the Charlie Mine thing uh, hurts me if I use it in close range. It does not. That's great. There's a room right there. Burn them all. Alright. Trap. Nah. I don't like taking my chances with the traps, even though, you know, it's probably a good idea to do it because I can regenerate my health pretty easily. I really don't care. I'm much right not get hurt. I've had some bad experiences with traps, like, oh, I can take it, no problem. Then it's a bolt that does, like, 50 damage, and then I die immediately, especially with spellcasters. If I were a rogue or a warrior, I would be a lot more liberal with casting spells. I mean, not with casting spells, with, uh, innate, with uh, triggering traps and taking my chances on traps. We're going to keep on going downwards. We have cleared the entire level. We did not find a store. Unfortunately, oh no, we did not clear everything. Let's go back. Moment. I'm pretty damn anal about this type of thing. I really like to clear the entirety of a level before uh, leaving to the next. Let's kill everybody with that. 
there's this door right here that we have not seen. Uh, I've always been confused by... What right you I've always been confused... Ooh. Bidjo, the Nails of Sacrifices. Let's see if we can teleport right there. Whoop. Excellent. And we're going to sell Bidjo right away. It does have pretty good uh, benefits. But it hampers my spell casting, so I'm not going to use it. I'm going to just send it to that museum. Pretty damn good chunk of... Man, it did use a lot of my mana. I got completely depleted, that was weird. Here. Poof. Burn. Where's my worm? This worm, man, is such a slacker. He goes and does whatever. Okay, now we have explored the entirety of the level. I am now satisfied. Too bad we did not find a store. We could always just go back. More cheese. We could always go back, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to keep on going forward. I'm really not doing so bad with inventory space, so I really don't even care. And we have this thing to drop all my syllables. So we're going to go to our pocket dimension, leave it right here. Probably we'll start the next level by using that, that uh, code that we got and giving that whole extra dimensional thing one more chance before we dismiss it altogether. Anyway, I hope that you're enjoying the Dungeons of Dreadmoor so far. This run might go places, might not. I uh, usually die pretty far in. Uh, it is not a terribly hard game as long as you are keeping track of what you're doing and don't get yourself in awful situations until you get to those later levels with insta ki getting killed instantly is a real possibility. Anyway, I hope that you stick around for the continuation of this eyebrowed run. I am having quite a lot of fun with Dungeons & Dreadmore, admittedly more than I thought I would start in this series. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to continuing this run, but until then, I bid you farewell.